Today I'll show you how to make the octopus for premature babies. Um, it's done with the with a cotton line and with a crochet hook number two and a half. You have to see which one is adequate to, to your line. Okay, so we'll start with the magic ring. We'll do magic ring this way. We make something like a loop and we catch the line from behind and our magic loop will have six single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six. Now what we'll do, we'll close our magic ring to get a small ring. So, okay, now it's closed. So we'll start from the, well, we are starting from the octopus head. Uh, the way we'll do it is um, like in a snail, we'll make it round. It will go always round. So the first, uh, the first, uh, now, now we'll start, what we'll start doing is in each one of the single crochet from the, from the first line, we'll start uh, doing two single crochets which means we will double the number of stitches we have so now we have two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we finished the second our second row okay so we now finish the second row and as in the first row we had six stitches in the second row we doubled all the stitches so now we have 12 stitches now we will start the third row when we'll do one double to one single one double to one single but there is one thing because if we do it in a snail in a coil um, we should uh, we should mark the first stitch and i don't have the markers with me what i will do at the moment is i will use this line which is from the beginning and i will pass it just through the stitch with the first stitch of the line to serve as a marker and then when i come to the end of uh, uh, of this row i will know that here is the beginning of my of my row so now I will be doing the third row which is two uh, which is one with two stitches it isn't comfortable at all but as I don't have the marker I have to do something okay so now is our row with two stitches and one stitch two stitches two stitches in one stitch and one stitch this way at the end of the row we will have 18 and in the next row in the row four 
when we'll do double and then every uh, one double and one and two singles one double two singles we'll finish the row with 24 stitches okay so we finished the row four now we came to the end of row four with 24 stitches here is my improvised marker so now I have to pass my improvised marker through the first stitch of the next row and now will be in the row 5. The row 5 is done the following way. We do one double stitch And then we do three single stitches. One, two, three. Then one double stitch. One double stitch. And three single stitches. Like this to the end of the fifth row. So, finishing the fifth row, we will have 30 stitches. And next, we'll have the row six, which will do uh, the way that there will be one double stitch, and then four singles, four single stitches, one, one double, and four single stitches. And we'll finish the row six with 36 stitches. So now I finished the sixth row. I passed already the improvised marker to start the row seven. And here is how how the top of the head of our octopus looks like at the moment. So now comes the easy part, which is row seven to fourteen, which will be just one stitch into one stitch. So, uh, row 7 to 14 is one stitch into one stitch. So, I will come back to you at the beginning of the row 15. So, now we are after 14 rows. Uh, the, he the head of the octopus looks like this. And now we will have the row 15, which is the, the first one. Uh, uh, where we start uh, decreasing. Uh, here is my improvised marker. So we are at the beginning of the of the 15th row and we will decrease the following way. So we will do four stitches one in one one two three four and now we will have two stitches which will be decreased. It means every fifth will be decreased. So we'll do it again. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one decreased. Okay, we will finish, we will uh, continue the same way till the end of the row 15. And uh, when we finish row 15, we will have 30 stitches. So we finished the 15th row, now we'll do the row 16 and 17. These rows are just uh, one stitch in one stitch. So uh, we have now 30 stitches and in 16th and in 17th we will do one in one uh, having always 30 stitches. So we finished row 17. We are with 30 stitches and now we'll have the uh, row with decreases. So the row 18 uh, will have the decreases, every fourth will be a decrease. So we do three stitches 
I had already one, so it's the second and the third. And now in the fourth, we do the decrease. So, and we continue the same way. One, two, three, three. Oh, I have to repeat the second. Okay. Two, three, and the fourth is the decrease. Okay. We continue like this till the end of the row. We finish the row with four, uh, with twenty four stitches. We finished the row 18, now we are on the first stitch of the row 19. Rows 19 and 20 are just, um, we are doing one stitch into one stitch, so we have always 24 stitches. Now we are in the, we finished the 20th row, we, we are now with 24 stitches. Now we'll start row 21 in which will diminish in every third stitch. So I have here my marker then and the first stitch is done. Now the second stitch is done one in one and in the third stitch we diminish. So we do one stitch from two. And uh, in this row will be done exactly the same way, we'll repeat it to the end. So it's one, two, and then we diminish. This way when we finish the row 21 we will have 18 stitches. Now we finish row 21 with our 18 stitches. Uh, I'm in the last stitch of the 21st row. Now I will show how I take out the improvised marker. And I start row 22. So I have my first stitch. I will pass through the stitch this line, which shows me where is the beginning of the row. So, in this way I start row 22. Row 22 has no diminishing, it's one stitch in one stitch, so we'll have, after finishing the row, 22 will have 18 stitches. Uh, now we are beginning the row 23. The objective of the row 23 is uh, to diminish two stitches along the row, so uh, to get from, from 18 stitches to 16 stitches. We will diminish in the 8th stitch and in the 16th stitch, so I have 1, 2, And now, in the 8th stitch, we will diminish. When it gets more, it's more difficult. But, we have to do it. Mm. I have one. Now I put the second. And now I diminish. And I continue the row, and in the 16th, I, uh, I diminish the second time, and we'll finish with the 16 stitches. So, now we have two last rows for the body. 
uh, which is 24 and 25 and uh, they will they will be done just by uh, making one stitch into one stitch we finished the 25th row with the slip stitch it doesn't want okay. okay and now the body is finished so uh, now it's time for tentacles